Okay, so if you didn't watch the video where we installed a second air conditioning unit inside of my good friend's Jayco Feather travel trailer, go check that out because he only had one AC that came with it. We put a second unit in, an Advent 13,500 BTU air conditioner. It went really smooth. There were a lot of little things we had to be careful of because we weren't simply replacing a unit. We were adding a unit where one didn't exist. So there was a lot of wiring. There was a lot of making sure things were clean so things could bond properly, but there were a lot of steps that you have to do that you typically wouldn't have to do if you were just replacing unit. So definitely check that out. But this is also the unit that we put the new Everchill 12 volt refrigerator in. And he had a buddy of his finish it off because we left some gaps around it because he has someone who does trim work and that's all done. So we're gonna take a close look at the interior of this J Feather, let you see what's going on here, give you a quick summary of what we did there and another huge project coming up that I'm not doing, but I'm definitely gonna share with you all when it's done because it's something that a lot of you may need to do to your RV whether it's a travel trailer, fifth wheel, or even a motorhome. Okay, so while he had the RV out, I figured I would give you a follow-up on how the trim turned out. So he had a buddy of his who's a carpenter come around and trim out the refrigerator. You see how it's notched around the hinge over here. That looks really, really good. So are you happy with it? I love it. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty thrilled to now have a 12 volt fridge. This thing is huge compared to your old fridge, isn't it? Like, exactly. it seems like it, I know your old fridge is like eight, eight cubic foot or something like that, but this seems like it's significantly bigger than 10 cubic foot. This is huge compared to the, uh, the fridge he had in here before. It looks really, really good. So yeah, this big project down, we knocked out this big project over here. Two really, really big projects. And, and if he were, uh, if you're paying for this and this wasn't sponsored content by my channel, sponsoretrailer.com, we're at about $3,000 worth of equipment alone and probably another $1,000 plus $1,500 worth of installation. So I'm gonna guesstimate after tax and everything, you're probably at about $4,500 to $5,000 deep so far with just fun stuff we've been able to do with due to your RV. And he's a super cool guy, so he definitely deserves it. He works his butt off, and these are some of the things that I can do for him with the channel, and, and it helps him have a better camping experience, which is what we're all looking for. He's got a big project coming on up. So this is all, all of his countertops are thermofoil. If you ever really wondered what that is, when I say thermofoil, it's not a solid surface countertop in terms of one solid material. It's wood with a wrap around it. Check that out. And that wrap is peeling off on his specific RV. And part of that is because of where he stores it, right? It's stored out in a storage facility. A lot of humidity, that's a big one. That's what's gonna break down the chemical glue or the bond between the two. And just over time, heat, cold, all of that's gonna cause it to expand, contract, especially the wood, and it's gonna eventually come off. And that's what's happening. And it's pretty much all coming off. It's kind of crazy. I almost feel as if well, I don't really know. I was going to say if that was solid wood, which of course it's not, you could probably refinish it. But you actually have a company that's going to come and refinish all of this for you, right? What are they going to do exactly? They're, they're going to do a spray on. It's not epoxy. It's a newer format of the epoxy. Okay. Uh, and it's going to have a very similar design on it, but it'll be directly on uh, the particle board. And so no peel and have a five-year yeah. warranty on it. Well, that's really cool because it's probably similar to that stuff that people get their bathrooms redone with and that waterproof chemical bond. That's going to be really cool. And we're definitely going to feature that whenever it's finished because I know a lot of folks have thermofoil cabinets, countertops. There's thermofoil in all sorts of places in a lot of RVs if you don't have solid surface countertops. And what he's doing is going to definitely be a big upgrade, especially if you have your thermofoil failing and it simply comes off in big sheets like this. And once he's done, this might be an upgrade other people are going to want to do. Do you already know the price of it, or are you, do you mind sharing? No, no. It's uh, to do the kitchen, to do our lift-up uh, addition, and then we're going to do all of the bathroom countertops as well. It's mm -hmm. going to be $750. $750. That's not bad at all. That is less than the materials if you wanted to do all this in granite, probably. The materials alone probably would have cost more. I think. I don't know. I'm not a granite expert. But... That's pretty cool, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, this is another project coming up, one that I can definitely feature. Hopefully, you, uh, you've enjoyed the stuff we've done so far. Definitely going to add some uh, air conditioning and some refrigeration power to this unit. 
Next, he's going to finish his countertop, which means he's probably going to trade this unit in like three months later because that's what he does. He does all these upgrades to his truck and then he trades his truck in. So the more upgrades he does on here, the more I think he's going to end up trading it in. Okay, so before we wrap this video up, I wanted to give you an, an additional sneak peek into some other projects that are going to go on with his J-Feather. Uh, one of the big ones is we are eventually going to do a suspension upgrade on this. So this has the standard steel triangle equalizer right here with standard shackle straps, standard uh, non-greasable wet bolts. We're going to be replacing all that. We are going to install new scissor jacks on here. We may actually go with an electronics type of leveling system. I'm not 100% sure. It really depends on what's available at the time and, and really if it's capable of accepting some of these other parts that we want to put on. Uh, we will likely do a solar project on here eventually as well as a battery project to be able to power some of this stuff that he has off grid uh, more conveniently for him if that makes sense because the 12 volt refrigerator of course doesn't operate off of propane anymore he has a blue yeti the ac200 which will power his refrigerator for a good period of time probably won't do his uh his ac units but he does want to expand his power to this unit and get some solar on here and have the capability of doing some more off-grid stuff because that's what he prefers to do when he camps anyways guys please take a moment subscribe to the channel so you have an opportunity to see all the th cool things that we're doing on this j feather this thing's a couple years old already he's already put like twenty thousand plus miles on it and there's a lot of cool projects that we plan on doing to make his camping experience even better Again, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.